Unser Imon Padalan. Unser Imon Padalan. Padalan? Padalan. Padalan. Leite. Um, this is actually our last day here in Leite so I thought I'm gonna show you around where we've been staying and also what they has been building. Right now I'm standing on the um, on the black villa. This is the this is like the roof deck. There's like the, another roof deck over here. This is like a gathering area. There's Arvix coming. Hello Arvix. Hi. <laughs> There's like a lot of coconut trees around here like you can just literally grab a coconut Right over here, that's pretty cool. It's gonna go down the stairs here. This is the second roof deck, which is a little bit smaller than the first roof deck, but still there's a lot of space here. Anyway, this is the room we've been staying in. I'm not gonna show much inside of the rooms. So I've already shown this room, like the day we got here. We've just been staying here. It's not done yet. We've been just been staying here like while Tay is working like down there. That over there and this one is the entrance to get here. It's a really nice garden. Over there there's even a chili there's even a chili plant so if you like chili that's it's chilies here. Over here you have another room and then over there is the kitchen, dining area and then this will be another room and a bathroom just around the corner. So right now I'm walking from the black villa to what they call the floating villa. So this is really interesting because the reason why they call it the floating villa, I'll show you now. But first, here's some nice chairs you can sit in. I actually never sat in this before. I'm gonna try it out. That's really nice, it's like a swing. Anyway, the floating villa. why it's called the floating villa because you can sit in these and you have a beautiful view this side you have a beautiful view of the ocean we have some really nice sunsets here and on this side you have the mountains which is also really cool really a lot of a lot of coconut trees I've never actually been in any of these rooms before yet. The only thing that I know is that there's a swimming pool right there. So it's around lunchtime now. I think it will be a good time to go show what Te is doing because the workers aren't making a lot of noise. She's actually working on her uncle's house. The plan is that he's gonna rent out these villas and then he stays in the big house down here. You've probably also seen me walking down this path but this is the path like leading to the house or like if you're going up leading to the villas. Over here they have these uh, what they call cottages or like seating areas and then, then this nice road going down here. There's actually a water refilling station and that's the building. But this building. Langa, are you ready to show me around of what yeah. you're building here? We're building here a one-story residential house for my uncle. And uh, today we are actually um, doing the exterior architectural detailing. Two days ago we started building the brick wall. This house is inspired by like the western crenellated battlements. That's why it looks like a, a castle with heavy concretes and crenellations. So right now we are 
leveling the grading of our floor finish on the natural grid line. Since this house sits in a slopey terrain, this is uh, the main entrance door. It's a double door and this is a red mahogany wood. And this is one of the center of attraction of the interior of the house. This is the brick wall. So it's a cliff stone relief. Since this is one of our main attractions inside the house, in order for it to be uh, fully emphasized, we have our ceiling system right over there with a down light fold so that we could incorporate lighting so that the bricks will be more emphasized. Okay, so guys, just bear the clutter around since we're still having ongoing works with the interior setup of the kitchen. We will vlog it again when it's done, right? Yeah, we are actually um, targeting for our for the furniture setup like around next week or. Um, oh, that's pretty pretty so close. So we will show you in around two weeks' time. So our kitchen is an island type kitchen and you cannot see properly well but we actually designed a black and white motif of the kitchen so we used galaxy black granites and also galaxy black um, melamine boards or mdf boards and for our kitchen cabinets under the counter we just uh, used the finger pull system because I know we want it to be really clean and very minimal. We're trying to avoid using door uh, cabinet door knobs, so we just uh, incorporated it with the finger pull system, so it looks cleaner and very minimal looking. We also got a very spacious pantry that we're uh, working on right now. And so far, we just have the one side partition of the room. And this is where um, our panel boards are also located. We also have a wine rack here. So we actually already installed the wine glass holder there at the top. And wine holders. Here is the veranda and it's overlooking the sea it's, it's, it's blocked with coconut trees but you can, you can feel the salty breeze coming from the ocean so actually we just put some tiles recently this week So for the ceiling, we just designed it accordingly to the spaces for the dining, the living room, and the kitchen. And we designed it with a cove system around the center lights on each spaces. Okay, so this is the living room. This is the TV entertainment wall. So you are gonna see all of it when we finish our setup in a few weeks. And here we have the hallway which we have done the tile works recently, since yesterday. So it's a very contrasting floor. So it's a transition from light to dark going to the bedroom. We cannot step on this yet because this was just newly installed. So that's the office. And beside it is the master's bedroom. So over here is a big window overlooking the tree house, the mango tree, the refilling station and also the road going to the villas up in the mountain. So our color scheme in the master's bedroom is we want it to be light and airy. So we have with the super white tiles and we are going to paint the cool white finish on the walls. So this is the master's bathroom and this is the walk-in closet. Why is this wall so gray? Not finished like. Oh, it's not finished because we are going to put up a wall cladding because this wall is the headroom wall of the bed. So we're not gonna put any paint finish in that, but instead we're going to put wall panels. This is one of the bedrooms. So this is the working area. And the cabinets here also serves as the stairs for the loft above where the bed is. Same as the room that we just showed you. And a 
there are three other rooms. Three other bedrooms that which also will have a loft. But these rooms are not here. And this is the toilet. Toilet and bath. You don't mean CR? Yes, CR. But it's a CR because in the Philippines you call it a comfort room. First time I heard about the comfort room, it's like, oh, that sounds nice. It sounds so comforting. Yeah. And I found out it's a toilet. This is the back door going to the roof deck. And we still need to excavate this part. This is the roof deck. Island. So this is what they was talking about it looking like a castle can you like put cannons here in in case of um uh, like put them going like world war three uh maybe in the future joke lang i'm joking what is this what's going on here so as you can see in this part this is the turret and usually in 45 buildings before the turret is where you put the torch in but we put some outdoor lights. Okay, so I'm really excited in like two weeks time, we will show you like the finished product. It will be like completely finished. Not really completely, but we're targeting that we will set up the common spaces first, the living room, dining, and kitchen. Okay, so in two weeks, we will show you an update, and maybe after that, we will show you the finished product, right? Yes. Okay, anyway, um, if you want to get in hold of Te, I will link her details below so you can contact her for her architectural services, right? Yes. <laughs> Since today is um, Saturday, it's payday, and it's also Uncle, Uncle Bobo's birthday, so we're gonna celebrate. Okay, so this is gonna be my first time trying yeah, Kuba. Yeah, very nice! Very nice! You want to be in the vlog? Yes, yeah, man, yeah, no, no doubt! <laughs> <laughs> you say hi! Say hi to the vlog! Mess, my one, my friend, my friend! Unsa imong panalan? Huh? Unsa imong panalan? Panalan? Panalan imong panalan? Edgardo Lanet, mahoy! Abe ni mo inday. Why am I aspiring the architect? Uh, the girl is the that's architect. the architect. That's the engineer. Why is it all going to happen? You're laughing. Civil engineer. Civil. Vlogger. Vlogger. I just put that. Anna. Okay, so this is tuba mixed with Pepsi. Tuba is um, also known as coconut wine. <laughs> it's nice! You like it? We go where you tell Doha. We have to. Huh? What's this? Um, 
<laughs> grilled pork. Oh, yummy. Grilled. Yes. Tagay. Mmm. Lami. Lami ka ayo. <laughs> Tagay para patay. Naiyan. <laughs> 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 Bye bye. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. I like your sunglasses. You look cool. Is that is that the real Ray Benz? Goodbye, Michael. Oh yes. Bye, Michael. <laughs> wow, look at that. Anyway, that was interesting. We need to go down now to catch the bus. I'm gonna end the video here. Hit that like button if you liked it. Subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this one. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.